Welcome to We Really Love Island with Rem and M. I'm Remy Casimir. I'm a stand-up comedian, and I host the sex podcast, How Come? I'm Emily Wilson. I'm also a comedian and a former X Factor USA contestant. We are obsessed with love, sex, and reality TV. So we're binging British reality show phenomenon, Love Love Island. Island. And now, so so are you. Watch along with us, and then listen to what we have to say about the episode. This episode, we're talking about season one, episode 10. And hello again. Hello nope, again. That's Australian. <laughs> uh, Fucked up. It's, it's going to take us a few seasons. I Previously think. on Love Island. Previously on Love Island. Previ- <laughs> that's, that's, that's my best one so far. Uh, John loves to wake up and kiss and cuddle. Yeah. So cute. I will say, like, I, again, I love Hannah and John. I was a little... Su- the way she was looking at him in the morning made me feel a little sus. Because she was like looking at him. A little what? Sus. Oh, like, suspect. Yeah. Yeah, okay. But um, the way she was looking at him, she didn't look that emphatic. But then I was like, she's just tired. She's <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> she like just woke up. I think also like she says it, and I didn't realize this last time I was watching, but she said it in the first episode that like her ex-boyfriend cheated on her. So I think she's just like wary. Yeah, guarded. Yeah. Um but I also thought it was a little strange how he was like, I've never done this before, like cuddle in the morning and just been so natural. I'm like, where are all these guys coming from who have never yeah. like had a girlfriend? I know. Maybe he meant like, I've never liked it this much. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. could be it. Um, then we got sugar. Yes, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. And and all the couples are having breakfast. Yeah, that was the first time I think they did like couples breakfast. Yeah. On this season. Yeah, least. I think they didn't cook for them, too. I, like, looked it up, and apparently, like, most of the time, other people cook for them. Oh, so really? So that they don't fight. Yeah. Yeah. All that shit. That makes sense. Um, That was a cute, I mean, thing, I guess. Everyone sequence. was, like, getting to know each other. We saw more of Jordan and Daisy, which we hadn't seen in the previous episode. Yeah. Um, But not that much. Either. What did you think of them? Well, I, she was like, I don't, she told him she doesn't like PDA and like flirty affection. Yeah. And I was like, um, I would let Jordan hold me any day of the week. Yeah. He's so sweet. He is. Um, I also thought it was funny how Naomi's like, yeah, I'm friends with all of my exes and it's cause I dumped them all. Yeah. A little. Uh, yeah. She's so sketchy. She, this episode I felt a little more sketchy toward her. I know. I'm, I I know, I'm happy I can now. like, I've been like trying to like bite my tongue, but mm-hmm. I, I fucking hate Naomi. I just think she's like. Oh, really? A, yeah. I think she's a little snaky snake. I don't like how she's always like, I don't think loyalty should be a thing in here. Yeah. Like, what do you, what? What if you really like someone? That oh. tells me that she must not really like Josh that much. Yeah. Or she's just like playing a game mm-hmm. or something like. Or or she doesn't think, like, I think to be like, I don't think there should be loyalty in here. Like, here is just a microcosm of the outside world. Like, you just don't think there should be loyalty. Yeah. Or, and, like, you're not here for any of those reasons is what that says to me. Yeah. Mm, donut. Mm. Um, and then... Uh, also, just stop touching your face. Stop touching your face. Stop touching your body. Like... She touches her, she's constantly touching her upper half. Like, I don't know what she's doing. Like, is it just, is she, like, trying to, like, flex her tits? Like, because sometimes she's, like, making cleavage, and it's like, okay, yeah, I'm looking, but. No, I think it's a nervous thing. Mm. Mm. Like, it it never feels to me like she's doing, I think she's never aware that she's doing it. Oh, really? It never looks, like, showy to me. I think she thinks she's being attractive, but oh. maybe that's wrong. I don't know. Um, Danielle and Chris Baxter, mm-hmm. they have their little date talking about monaco and ibiza oh, yeah <laughs> ibiza, like, i love yeah, ibiza my, yeah my parents have a house there so we go to ibiza yeah like she's just they're too, just the posh they're just too posh for words yeah we didn't really get to know much of chris baxter this episode no. except for him and naomi's little flirt exchange which we'll talk about yeah yeah that was like mm. it was that was high school one thing about chris baxter though i will say is he looks very skinny coming in like he came in fully dressed Mm-hmm. last episode like nobody else has come in in anything more than a bathing suit right and he came in like in a button down and pants with a belt and like loafers and shit and, and i like, was like oh he must be like really tiny and skinny and he's like a very nice he's a great body, body. i yeah. really like his body yeah yeah and it's not like too muscular it's like no. nice to smoosh mm-hmm. yeah but i thought it was gonna be like bony yeah 
But we still haven't gotten like any formal introduction for him besides him being Chris the Brand Baxter. I think he's a little stuck up for sure. Yeah. Like that's what I've gotten so far. But they haven't even told us like his age or like everyone else got like a full yeah. profile. Of yeah, themselves. yeah, like, yeah. Even Naomi and Daisy. Yeah. Like, we haven't gotten that much from them. For him. Also, we didn't talk about how much emphasis they put on Naomi and Daisy's age in the last challenge last episode. Yeah. Like you had to know their ages in order to, I don't know. I just feel like they haven't done that with any of the guys. It's not like, is Chris 31 or 32? Yeah. And like, Lewis is 20. Don't forget. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Oh, Zoe also on her date for, for breakfast date. The Uh first thing he was like, who's your ideal type? And she was like, honestly, Jordan. So I think she's still. But Even then though then she if, goes, yeah. now I like Lou. And he asked her if she was still hung up on Jordan. She was like, no. She was like, I see him having more chemistry with Daisy. And like, we never had chemistry like that. We had nothing to talk about. Yeah. But she said he's like her physical type. Yeah. 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 I love how much they emphasize like physically. Yeah. Physically. physically I'm attracted. Yeah. yeah. They separate physical and emotional so much. Yeah. Except for Lauren. Because she was saying to um, Lou. Mm hmm. She was saying, or she said it to someone, she was like, if you, yeah, she said it to Lou on their breakfast. She was like, you could be the best looking person ever, but if you don't have the personality, like, to back I'm not it up. attracted to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love that, and I relate to that very hard. 100%. I also think, you were right last time, I didn't realize that Lauren had feelings for Lewis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She, like, definitely is into it. I didn't think, she, I thought she was just like, oh, it could be, like, a fun friend thing. And now I feel bad for her, because he, like... He's chosen everybody else in the yeah. house and he's not even satisfied with them. Like he's not mm-hmm. going to most likely go with her. No. And I feel bad because I feel like now she's like for a while she had accepted like, oh, I'm the friend in the house. Yeah. And then with Lou, she's like, oh, well, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now, of course, as soon as she's with him, all the other girls are running to him. Yeah. I liked him too. He was like, how come you're all just piping up now? Yeah. I like, <laughs> like that he said that. Nobody liked me before. Yeah. Direct. It's like, A, because you all, you told the adoption story and you're the cutest person in the entire world. Mm-hmm. And yeah, B, because Danielle is now going to Ibiza, Monaco. Ibiza, yeah. Monaco for the Grand Prix. We were there last year. No, I couldn't be there. I was so upset. Yeah. Posh. <laughs> Posh. I also, when they were telling all those stories of like, okay, your greatest moment. When Josh said the coming thing, I was like, uh, Come on, dude. Have I, a little bit of depth. Yeah, I loved greatest moment and most embarrassing stories. Like Lauren shitting herself. Oh my god, was everything. I literally like cackled and, out loud. And she like shot up to talk about she it. Too. Did. She's like, oh my god, okay. Like, She's like I shat myself. I shat my pants at work. Yeah, yeah that is the funny. What do you have a, a most embarrassing story that came um, to your mind of my own? Yeah. Um, hmm. I had one that came to mind. Tell me yours when I'll think of mine. Okay. It's like not an adult life thing, but still like haunts me kind of. Yeah. So um, when I was like 11, I went on vacation with my family in Cancun. Mm -hmm. And we did one of those things where you swim with dolphins and the dolphin goes under or two dolphins go under your two feet and they like push you out of the water. Mm -hmm. And I was wearing this red two piece. It was like my first two piece and my, I got pushed out of the water and my bottoms came down and there's like a photo thing, like right at, like while you're, Oh my God. And I was like, Oh, I have like, like the newest of pubes and like, (laughs) and they got the photo. of Yeah. I mean, they didn't put it up, but like, it like oh the my flash god. went off and i like jumped off the dolphins into the water i was like oh my ah. god yeah. that's funny horrifying that's really funny yeah i'm trying to think of mine oh actually i have one that was actually pretty embarrassing go okay, well, on very different than yours but when i was a junior in high school there was this guy who was a senior who i always thought was like so hot i was so into him mm-hmm. and he had a girlfriend um but he knew i was really into him and he was like kind of a sleaze ball yeah and we were at this party and i was really drunk and, like, we were in front of a bunch of people. But, like, a bunch of people were talking and stuff. And he was, like, he knew I thought he was really hot. And he was, like, Emily, kiss my neck right now. And I was, yeah. like, what? And he was, like, make out with my neck right now. And I was, like, okay. And I just started, like, making out with his neck. Oh, and then, cringe. Yeah. And it was, like, everybody was talking about him for a while. Because I just, like, went for his neck. And he had a girlfriend. And he was, like, laughing the whole time. Uh, and I didn't realize because I was, A, so drunk. And, B, like, stupid so and thought he was cute. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That was pretty embarrassing. Yeah, that's horrible. Yeah. Pretty Um, rude of him. 
greatest moments though yeah it was interesting to see um Naomi's was like getting my degree and yeah. like my mom raised me all by herself and like that's what we've worked for and then Chris or um, Josh, Josh shoots is like, up and is like I came in a bath although that does sound like a really fun time it like, does just sitting in a bath and like the first like the first time you like masturbate in the bathtub yeah. and like being like so relaxed like I yeah. really don't find that that offensive like it's yeah it's, it's, it was totally more of like, different it's right it was relative different. yeah that it pissed me off yeah um who else had a good greatest time well, Zoe had the coming in her eye. Oh, that was the most, that was embarrassing. most embarrassing. The chlamydia. Mm-hmm. I definitely thought it was going to be pink eye. And I was like, is she going to say that she was like eating someone's ass like on TV? Like, yeah, you yeah, You get pink yeah, eye yeah. from like shit mm-hmm. or whatever. But no, she just got like a jizz Chlam- facial. Yeah. She's like, sorry, priest. Yeah, I was going to say, I forgot she's like a church girl until she said like, sorry, priest. And I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah. I she forgot. loves church. Yeah. I think it's really cute. Like, it's like, I think it's mom, so cute. Mom, dad, and priest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't watch this part. But, like, you know, priest is. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> oh, greatest moment. Oh, yeah. Lewis, greatest moments. Lewis's adoption story was so fucking cute. Uh, so adorable. Um, I love him. He's really, really grown on me. Like, if you think about the first episode, yeah, when he stepped forward for every girl, and I was yeah. like, Jesus Christ, who is this dude? I think when I watched the first time, this was my this episode was my turning point for him. That I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, he's so cute, and he's like modest. Like you would think with all the girls coming toward him, he would like start to get cocky. But like, om- if that was Omar, yeah, like oh my god, Omar, the any chance he gets, he turns on whoever. Like he's uh. just so and like any little bit of attention that he gets he's becomes like the most Cocky arrogant asshole yeah. like that's why i don't like him it's not because he's like not cute because he's not like objectively not cute no yeah he is like if like, he had he an amazing personality be... we'd love him right it's the fact that he's like so arrogant with like he takes they give him an inch and he runs a mile is that what the expression is yeah he also like every opportunity to take his fucking dick out or his mm-hmm. ass out and it's like omar nobody, nobody asked, asked you like we're having this wonderful rain dance and like yeah. people are kissing in the pool and he's like grabbing his dick and yeah. like trying to get redressed and no one no is one giving cares. him any attention no one cared. like I what know. are you doing i know if not just making people and yourself uncomfortable everybody uncomfortable and like i thought we covered I hope this when g- rachel left he was like oh you've not seen the other side of me like i'm quite intelligent I'm like, yeah like oh yeah okay i just, thought he'd whip that out but now that he's with jess he's like i don't, I don't need to take my ass out again yeah fucking hate omar i hope him and jess get voted off Ooh, sorry I you guess. dislike jess now i don't know i kind of feel for her and like i feel like she's been more laid back and cool and like she's still part of the original family that's the thing is she's so tied in with hannah yeah that yeah, like like exactly. that i don't want to see that friendship split up and but i, when, I she, yeah. when she was talking in the confessional she was like yeah it's just so gross she said something that was really shady of like um fuck what was it she said something like that made me think oh i don't trust i forgot that i don't trust you Ooh. I, for, I think it was about Josh. She said something along the lines of like, I don't. Oh, I know what it was. What? We looked at each other. She was like, after she talked to Naomi. Yeah. She was like, would you like hook up with anybody? Or like, would you leave Josh or whatever? Oh, yeah. And then Naomi was like, yeah, like I, w- I want to keep my options open and stuff. And um, Jess is like, I would never have done that. To Even him. though she almost did. did yeah fully did she's like i i really thought a lot of him when we were together and i would never have done that like you tried you to get with the italian stallion yeah yeah i know that was that's what made me think like okay she is still shady i did find it so strange though and cool but also like mainly weird that like they were sitting together naomi and jess i think that produ- the producers put that together there's no way they would have gravitated toward each other to like have a conversation. Yeah, like and with Daisy, I don't know. Yeah. It's just like a weird thruple. Yeah, but then like, why would Naomi be like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna tell my secrets to Jess," like the one who was just hooking up with Josh? Like, yeah, like somebody she had who to has know her degree. Yeah. yeah, but also maybe she wanted her to say it because then yeah. she knew that it would make her look like a bad, jealous bitch or whatever. And then like, like Naomi completely turned it around when. When or John think, brought it up. He was what? Do you think that Naomi said that to Jess because she was like wanted to 
kind of b- bridge a bit of a friendship there and be like maybe like i'm not i i don't know maybe like i'm not so in love with josh or did you do it to piss her off of like yeah i have him and i like don't really want him and yeah. you'd really do because like i don't i don't know how that would be like a friend making thing if like i had just had a guy stolen from me and then she was like oh yeah but i don't really care about him yeah you know you're right like, i just did right. that for shits jolene jolene mm-hmm. she's jolene she is jolene please don't take my naomi man. is jolene just because she can fucking bitch just kidding you guys yeah, no, she really did like ter- show us another side this episode that made me think like are you are you so sweet yeah and her naomi? like giggling with chris baxter okay let's talk about that yeah that was so lame it was so immature he was like it that was it literally reminded me of like sixth grade like so who do you like who do you like can't say but it starts with an e is it me you'll have to wait like until, until when like oh, yeah. yeah okay it's just night. like mm. that was so and the way that naomi was like feeding into it i was like do you have a degree because this is not this intelligent banter I mean, Either of you were talking about yeah. having. Yeah, no. Um, I don't understand, like, why did, she didn't, like... I mean, I do understand she didn't outwardly say it because she doesn't want to be, like, known as the bitch. But, yeah. like, you're putting yourself out there, like... And if you don't think there should be any loyalty here and, like, you think that whatever you're doing is above board, like, just ask him out. I know, but then it but then it makes me think, like... Okay, well, we'll get to this in a second. What? About... When when they talked after John brought the two of them together to air things out. Yeah. I'm just going to bring her over and be like, you're a bitch. Okay. So <laughs> I did not. I That was like the first time where I was like, okay, John, step back. Shut up. Yeah. yeah what are you doing? Like organizing this, this, like it's their business, not yours. And like he kept being like, but did you say that? But did you say that? I mean, I'm kind of happy that he like was keeping her honest though because i think he knows maybe josh is like a bit of a pussy with her it seems like he's definitely treated her way better than he treated jess right so like she definitely has the upper hand yeah and i think john is just like stepping i mean i don't like that he automatically was like she's not allowed to do whatever the fuck she wants but at the same time it's like if she's saying to josh that like i just want to be with you then like don't say to other people that like you're keeping your options open well that's what made it shady to me because she said to josh she was like i didn't want to say anything because i didn't know if you i felt like you would ditch me but it's like oh you, I w- yeah i was just covering my ass and it's case- like n- no you didn't have to say what you said you yeah. said that like loyal saying loyalty isn't a thing here is going yeah, beyond, beyond covering your ass exactly but then again i'm like and also you think that they're gonna take that one tiny sound bite just to cover your ass like yeah. in filming later like no you no. said that you fucked up like you slipped up but then devil's advocate here yeah advocacy yeah advocate devil's advocate um <laughs> <laughs> like what if she she now she's like okay i actually she got to know josh a little bit and she's like you know what i don't really see something with him so she's not trying to look like a bitch yeah. but she's trying to be like i i'm not attached to him yeah no, I think that's fair. But then go back to Josh and be like, yeah, I'm not really feeling it. Whereas she was like, yeah. no, no, I was just scared that you were going to reject me. Okay, let's kiss now. Yeah, like, I know. But then again, like, I don't like that John was kind of forcing her to be like, are you all in or are you nothing at no, all? No, totally. Because like, it's not fair to force someone to make that decision so soon. Yeah, and it's not. But it's also... I think I think it's like Josh is having these real feelings and you're not being as real as humanly possible. Right. John? Josh. Did I say Josh? Josh. Josh. Mm-hmm. Good. Josh. Um, what else were we going to talk about? Chris and Zoe's date. Holy shit. I lost all respect for her. I Okay. I was like watching it and like I don't remember it. But I, I, I like remember it being uncomfortable, but I don't remember it being like that fucking heated. I cannot believe she said that to him and then tried to act like it wasn't a big deal. I think it wasn't a big deal. Like I was thinking when I was watching it this time, like they either are the best friends in the world or they hate each other. And at first I thought they were like just really good friends, like joking about the fact that this was her most unideal situation. And then, like, he got, like, really sensitive. Well, because she said, like, I think for him it was like, oh, yeah, it's not your ideal. But, okay, here we are. Let's just try and do the date. Yeah. 
let's at least put effort into like seeing what this could be. But do you think he thought that there could be something with her? I, th- I think he wanted to try. Okay, yeah. Because he hasn't had luck with anybody. And I think his viewpoint this whole time has been like, let me at least give it a shot. Yeah. We're already coupled up. We yeah, might yeah, as well yeah. try. And she literally could not have made him feel more like ugly and like gross not likable yeah. she was like oh oh my god i can't believe i have to do this oh my god yeah ugh. i used to do this with my ex but like i actually liked him yeah didn't even say love like liked like liked as a person yeah so it made chris feel like he was a worthless disgusting human being yeah and then he the called entire her a cunt. time i mean she was a, being a cunt i think he had every <laughs> right to call her a cunt he didn't say it to her face see okay i feel like zoe was just being like I actually had like romantic feelings for him. She's like, I had an ex-boyfriend and like we were actually in love and I had to, and I did it to him once. That's what I I got from the first time. She could have thought about her words. Yeah, you know, she should have. And also it was very unclear as to like what they're, I thought it was like a a funny friendship. It was like clearly like not. Right. I mean, I just think even if it was a funny friendship, if I was on a date like that. Yeah. Knowing that I'm in the context of a date. Yeah. Yeah. I would never be so openly rude. Yeah, she was and rude to him. Unnecessarily rude. Yeah, I've been I've been on dates before where like with people I'm like friendly ish with, and we tried to go on a date, and it like immediately wasn't clicking. Mm-hmm. But I would still never be like, oh, I just, oh my god, this is just such a weird, terrible thing. I'm so unattracted to you. Like, <laughs> I would never go. I've actually had one date, and it is my worst date ever. Um, I was set up by my aunt who had recently started like a dating service and she like found oh. this. Yeah. And she found this okay. guy and she was like, will you like be like a tester of the dating service? Cause like, you know, like I don't have any girls yet, but I'm yeah. getting these guys. So I went out with this guy and like, it immediately was like the worst date ever. Like he thought that like my aunt had like tricked him that he, she had a dating service because I said, I was like, yeah, I'm her niece. Cause like, I didn't know that. Uh, you know what I mean? So we oh, both. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. So he thought like I was some loser that like <laughs> had to Just, like be set up by like a fake lie, and I oh. thought he was like an asshole that had to be like had to like buy women essentially. You know, like yeah. And, oh, he thought that the aunt, your aunt, made up a whole thing just so that he would go on a date with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really funny. And so like we just were not like everything we were saying. We like agreed with each other. Like we were like same yeah. background, like same ideas for the future or whatever, but we did not like each other because of just like the pretense that had like come with it. Yeah. And it was the ickiest feeling. And at one point I just go, this is so weird. Like you don't like me at all. And what did he say? And he was like, ah. Oh my god! Like, don't say that. And I was like, but it's true. I Wait, was like, okay. like we don't like each other. Yeah. Like, I was like, should I just leave? Like, this is crazy. And what did he say? And he was like, no, that's so like ah, whatever. And then like his friends ended up coming, like like dropping by, quote unquote. And then like oh. we all like split ways. Funnily enough, I made friends with uh one of my friends recently, like in the past year, and we were hanging out like a few months ago. He's her ex boyfriend. Really? So we met up the three of us and uh him and I talked about how it was like the worst date ever on like that both of so our funny. sides. And now we're like very like we're yeah. like friends and it's fine, but like yeah. we were like, Oh my god, I tell everybody about that. Yeah. And he's that like me so too. funny. He's like, oh I hated god. you so much. I'm like same. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, okay. I think it's one thing if you can feel that there's like it's mutual that you don't like each other. Yeah. It's one thing to say like this is so weird you don't like me at all. But I think that she thought that they didn't like each other. Like I thought she was she oh, thought they were okay. on the same page that it's like this is a friend date. This is my worst like ideal scenario like and he and like they were just like ta- like he was even being funny about like oh you get too lubed up or whatever like he knows that's something that's going to irritate her as a Christian. Like I thought it was like a friend jab and then it just took this like really like harsh Oh, I never looked at it like that. Yeah. I looked at it as like, I didn't see the friendship thing. I saw it as like he was, he made it clear to her that he was going to try. That he was interested. I don't know. I just feel like, like if you're going when, on a, when <sighs> they went when they first got the the notification or the text that they were going on a date, like she screamed and fell because she was like, oh God, like no. Oh. I think. I, I think he that's took it as like, oh my God, you're falling yay. for me. You're so nervous. <laughs> yeah. 
I don't know. I didn't. I didn't. It wasn't clear to me that they would be on that same page. Yeah. So I got really irritated by the way she was treating yeah, him yeah, because yeah. I was like, okay, let's see this date. Yeah, it was really bad banter. It was. I mean, she. I mean, I think she was way over the line. Yeah. Well, hopefully she'll apologize. Yeah. I uh, wonder if, if she... I know Love Island. I think she will. Yeah. Um. But again, I don't even remember. Like, I'm like as like we haven't watched. Like, spoiler alert we're not actually binging all at one time yeah we haven't watched it in like three days and i've been like freaking out that i'm like what happens next? yeah because yeah, like yeah. what happens at the end and like what you remember not the same like yeah i forgot about the fucking journey yeah the journey and, like, is everything how many people have actually been together before they yeah. end up with like the person that they're with didn't jess start with jordan yes that like thinking about she that she kissed I'm like, him huh? they kissed yeah. yeah that's like so weird to me i know so long ago um, I also, like, Naomi, what are you doing smacking Lou's ass? Yeah, that was just, like, I think that was her starting to express, like, okay, Josh is not what I'm Expected. looking for anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah, And I think, if anything, because remember, she was like, I don't want to kiss on the first date, like, yeah. with Josh. And, like, that made me think it was because she wanted to have a relationship with him. But I think... The opposite no, she, wound up happening. They kissed too early. She even said, she's like, I think we kissed too soon. Because I think she realized after they kissed, like, yeah, oh, actually, never yeah. mind. No, and also she said that she didn't want to kiss him because he had just made out with Jess. Jess, yeah. But then she goes after John brought them together and was like, I I just said those things because I thought you would mug me off. Yeah, liar. It's like, shut up, Naomi. S- still hot, though. Would so still hot. Great would totally tits. shag her. Great tits. And amazing arms that are currently amazing scratching body. her body. Yeah. <laughs> currently. She's got to stop with that tick. I it's a nervous tick. It's a thousand percent a nervous I'm tick. I'm follow her on Instagram. I'll just be like, hey, do you still How have are skin? Your arms? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, just checking uh, in. You stand moisture. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, the boys I just thought were very cute when they tried to like get Josh's Josh. back. Yeah. Maybe it was a little harsh with the your bitch, but whatever. I just think John stepped in a little too hard. A little too hard. As like house dad. Yeah. It was like let them resolve this. Yeah. I don't know. If I was Naomi, I would have been a little pissed at John. Like, yeah. Fuck off. But she didn't seem that mad, which kind of makes me think she did say those things for the drama. Mm. Because she wasn't that mad. Like I feel like if I was Naomi in that situation, I would have been like Excuse you, go away. I'll talk about. I can handle this. I'll talk about yeah. this with him. Like she didn't seem shocked that it was happening. Right, right, which right. Which makes right, me right. think she said it for mm. and knew it would get back to him. I mean, she does have a degree and she works in marketing. Mm-hmm. And she said in her confessional, she was like, "I guess I've learned not to say anything to anybody." Like smiling, yeah, like, and I was like, tee-hee. "Okay, bitch." Like, yeah, you knew. Yeah, that the tea travels fast. Yeah, the tea does travel fast. I'm having a tea party. Oh, and now we're put to a public vote. I'm excited to see I'm excited. what the public thinks. I want to see if it matches up with my opinion. Yeah, our and also because I feel like the house itself has like such clout, like in like the original group and stuff. Yeah, and like they are more invested in keeping people that like have just been there forever in, whereas the public could have like a different opinion. Like, let's get in some fucking, you know, I yeah. don't know. Let's get out the posh people. Let's yeah. Let's get out. I don't know. Any, I don't know. Anyone. Should should we make? Well, do you know who goes? Do you remember? No, I have no idea. I okay, mean, I, we I make know predictions. I, uh, or is yours going to be too accurate? I don't know. You should. I should. Okay. Oh, I want to say that they would vote our vote off Omar and. But Jess. also, we don't know how they're going to vote them off. What do you mean? Do you think they're going to vote off an entire couple? Do yeah, you that's think what they gonna, said. Oh, that's the what they said. Okay, okay, leave. okay. Yeah. So I. Because of Omar, I would like to think they would vote off Omar and Jess. Mm-hmm. But I think the public, like, again, we're watching it four years later or yeah, whatever. Yeah. I feel like people have a thing for Jess and don't want to see her leave yet. Mm-hmm. So I think they will not vote them off. So my other predictions would be Chris and Zoe. Mm-hmm. Because Zoe revealed herself as a bit of a bitch and Chris is just kind of hopeless and nobody, I feel like nobody has that much of an attachment yeah. to him. Yeah. Or Jordan and Daisy. That's my. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say first thing, first pick of who's going based on what the public would think would be Chris and Zoe. I'm just trying to think of like, yeah, I have no idea. But I love Jordan and I like Daisy, so I hope they don't leave. But from what we've seen, I feel like they're. I don't know. But no, I'm gonna stick with Ooh. Chris and Zoe. Chris and Zoe. Okay. 
Yeah. Um, I love also Hannah going, Lou Dan. I don't know what oh, it yeah, means. Yeah. It's Lewis's nickname or yeah. something, but it's so fun. Yeah. Lou Dan. Yeah. Um, yeah, but the public vote is going to be amazing. Uh, I can't wait for it. Um, and then here are, do we have any? Bruv. Bruv. Yeah, that was a good vocabulary. Brother. Brother. Bro. Friend. I'm surprised that's the first time we heard it. Yeah. Bollocks. Bollocks. Balls. Balls. Or bullshit. I'm like, that's bollocks. That's bollocks. Yeah. Defo. Defo. Definitely. 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 Um, are you excited for this next episode? I'm stoked. I cannot wait. Some would say defo. Defo. Defo, defo. excited. Defo Previously exci- on Love Island. <laughs> okay. Let's watch. Let's watch. Goodbye. Hey guys, I know we really love Island, but do you? If you really love We Really Love Island, let us know. Leave a rating, a review, and tell everyone you know to subscribe too. You can find us everywhere that podcasts are found. iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, YouTube, Google Play, all of them. Hopefully, if they don't work, message us. You can find us on Instagram at We Really Love Island. Follow us individually at The Real Emily Wilson and at Remy Cassidy. You could also like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash We Really Love Island. Follow us on Twitter at We Really Love Island. <laughs> send us your thoughts, your prayers, and if you know any of the contestants, send them our way. Yes. Perfect. Amazing. And always remember that we're not affiliated with Love Island, ITV, CBS, or anything. We're not official anything. We're just two comedian girls. Thank you. Goodbye.